Okay, today we are going to learn about uh, Java. Okay, J Java is developed by Sun Microsystems by James Gosling, and initially it started like you know it was named as Oak, and later on <coughs> it was renamed to Java. Some of the advantages of Java are concurrent, class-based, object-oriented. Okay, what is what do you mean by concurrency is parallel transactions it's like more than one task at the same time okay for example you can do <clears throat> in a word doc you can type your uh, text as well as you know you can search for a string in that so two tasks can run in parallel if you look at gaming also right two cards can move simultaneously so the code must have written only for one car but due to concurrency so the the code can be executed multiple times you will see as if more number of cars are seen right so the advantages of concurrency is that the speed rather than one task you can do multiple tasks at the same time if the speed increases right <coughs> the features of java java is simple it's not very complicated to write programming like any other programming language like COBOL and all. For for simple uh, string to display, that you, you need to write 20, 21 lines of code in COBOL. But in Java, it is like one line if you just want to display one hello world. <coughs> Java has got a lot of security features. And Portable. Portable is since Java is platform independent, that means to say you can write the code in Windows and execute the code in Mac, I mean to say Java code in Windows, compile in Windows, take the code and run <coughs> in another operating system. So it is easily portable from one operating system to another operating system. In a sense, if I write a complete project in Linux, I can take and execute in Windows. It's very easy. Object oriented. Java has object oriented facility. Robust. <coughs> ja Java is very strong it has got exception handling facility and a lot of facilities like that so that it is strong in C++ if you consider um, the pointers are there due to pointers pro there is tendency to crash the program at many times since pointers is taken internally by Java and not allow the developer to uh, code in it then the robustness of the program has become more it's become much more stronger the next is multi-threaded. Multi-threaded is, as I said in the previous slide, concurrent transactions. Right? You can perform more than one task. Here, thread is a task. Multi-thread means multiple tasks. So multiple tasks running at the same time is one of the feature of Java. So what happens when you run multiple tasks at the same time the speed of the system increases as I said if I can run 10 tasks at the same time the speed increases by 10 times right <coughs> architecture neutral Java is not depending on any architecture in the sense like uh, 386 486 CPU any CPU any hardware it can run on. It is not depending on any particular hardware. If it, if you can install Java on a system, then you can write a Java code and start executing. As I said, the high performance. See, when it is multi-threaded, right? So multiple tasks are the run at the same time. So it is the performance naturally increases. And the last point, the distributed. It is not required. Java, the, one of the best feature of Java is distribution. It is not like I need to run my pro entire project in one system or one location. I can, uh, in, I can have the Java put into different locations. For example, okay, one part of the module I can put it in California. Another part in some, you know, in Boston. Another part in New York. Right. So I can distribute the modules of Java and I can connect them without any time intervention. In no seconds I can connect um, like you know module from Boston to New York. It's as if like you know the two systems are keeping each other next to each other. Okay. <clears throat> 
where Java is used. Java is very, very popular, extremely popular. It has taken almost 80% of the market share in, time, in terms of development. You take up any system, you have Java in it. Nowadays, like uh, we have mobiles. In mobile, Android is very famous, and Android is developed in um, uh, Linux on Java, like Java platform, uh, Java on Linux. Okay, if you can look at, like you know, it is used in many of the pieces, and even in uh, nowadays they program cars using software and even for programming in cars also to run the car some of the features of the car to run automatically they use Java Chrysler is one of the company which uses Java for developing the uh, software for cars okay it's used for Android applications it's used for Hadoop applications and Java is used in lot of frameworks like Hadoop, Spring, Hibernate, Strux, so many tools and like it's 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 huge market about the Java right and so it is used to develop business process management tools web servers some of the web servers like uh, the uh, Glassfish, WebLogic, WebSpear and sorry web services IIS, Tomcat, application servers like uh, Glassfish, WebLogic, WebSphere, etc. So Java is used for lot of development in the current trend. Okay, some of the technologies of Java. There are like more than 50 to 60 technologies that are available in Java, but some of the the best technologies which is currently used right now is like JSPs. Uh, JSPs is basically used to display web pages. Display uh, web pages. It's like you can develop web pages in HTML and include Java also as part of it. Spring is a framework which is used. For Spring has almost almost all the Java technologies in it, and it is used for as a middle layer of the project. Here I'm talking about MVC architecture. That is model view controller that is the front end the middle layer that is the actual logic will be performed and the back end back okay the back end is the database where you connect to the database and get the uh, uh, like data from the tables okay so the first technology which came up from java to connect to the database is jdbc so after that, Hibernate is a framework which was built on to get the data from the database. Hibernate is a framework which is built on JDBC uh, technology. <coughs> it is very, very easy. In Hibernate, you need not write complete SQL. You have certain methods in Hibernate where you use that methods internally Hibernate converts into SQL so you don't need to write SQL code in Hibernate that is one of the advantage of Hibernate <coughs> as I said before you have many other applications many other tools you can develop that is Android is being developed web services are developed in Java 